here everyone <laughs> welcome to once upon a time fitness this is Jillian here and I'm wanting to talk about a really hot topic and going into the new year here on the pale fish platform we keep getting a million questions asked about it so here I'm here to answer all of your questions about dun, 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 taxes yeah taxes are super fun right we're all excited to pay taxes Wait, what? You're not. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, make sure you do that right now so that you get all of my notifications when I come out with videos and training tips or news updates, anything like that. And let's get started. All right, so taxes, the thing about taxes is taxes are different everywhere. Everyone has a different tax rule. So somebody living in Australia has tax rules that I have no idea about. Someone living in Arkansas has tax rules that I don't know about. Someone living in the UK has tax rules that I don't know about. Someone that has a home address of Alaska but lives in Asia has tax laws that I don't know about. So the thing about taxes is we don't know. <laughs> I can tell you my personal taxes. I can tell you like maybe a few other teachers that like I know their situations personally because they've told me. But as mentors or admins, you know, the admins in China, they're going to know nothing about taxes. As mentors, we really can't give you tax advice, but I can give you some basics and tell you what you need to do in order to make sure that you're getting your taxes done and you're doing it the right way. So first of all, the first thing you're going to want to do is hire a tax professional. Again, that is not your mentor and it's not your admin because we don't know taxes. We are not licensed CPAs. We don't do taxes for anybody but ourselves. I don't even do taxes for myself because I hired a licensed tax professional. <laughs> That's your big number one thing here is you're going to want to seek advice, seek counsel from someone who knows what they're doing and knows the tax laws for your area. Like I have a really, really good tax guy um, in the Buffalo, New York area, but I I can't refer him to any of you because you're not in my area. So we all have different tax laws. For example, I am allowed to write off a percentage of my utilities and a percentage of my internet and a percentage of my rent or my mortgage once I move. I'm allowed to write off things like that. I'm because I use so much internet. Um, like my job basically relies, it does rely on internet. I'm allowed to write off more internet expenses than say someone working beach body okay get what I'm saying because like I need my internet to do my job and because I work so much my internet expenses um my tax guy said I could like write off like 80 percent of them probably he's gonna look at it you know when he looks at it and we're gonna go through so you hire a tax professional you're not going to get any forms from palefish you're an independent contractor but they don't send out any forms. So make sure what I would do is I would print out your entire year. Like when you ask your tax guy what he wants, but I would print out your entire year worth of transcripts that you've gotten from Payoneer because if you transfer to Payoneer, it's in a nice little package where, I mean, that's the only thing I use Payoneer for is my pay. And I think that's how most people are. So just go into Payoneer and um, select it for the past year and print it out so that way you've got a nice little package of all of the deposits that you've gotten and the fees that you've paid, et cetera, et cetera, from your job. Okay, that's the first thing I do. If you don't have Payoneer, you can do the same thing with like any other bank that you're using if you are using a different bank. Um, the next thing I would do is I would collect all of your utility bills and See what, your, see what your tax guy wants you to get, but I would get all of your utility bills, your rent bills, anything like anything like that. I actually made a spreadsheet for it so my, my tax guy can just go through and be like, okay, you've spent this much on this and this much on this and this much on this. Um, my taxes are a little more complicated because I do have more going on than just pale fish, but um, that's the basic general rule of it. Like, you're going to want because you have to have electricity, you you can write off a portion of your electric bill. Because you have to have a place to do your work in, you can write off a portion of your rent or your mortgage. Usually it depends on your square footage. Um, 
if you have bought props and you save the receipts for it, if you bought a new iPad and you save the receipts for it, if you bought a new um, lamp so that you can be seen on your iPad that you just bought and you have receipts for it, make sure you save all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> those are all going to be tax write-offs. As an independent contractor, there is, um, well, I don't even want to get too much into specific, I don't want to get too much into specifics, actually, because, um, like I said, it's different, like, everywhere. I do get really excited about it, and I can talk about it, but it really is different everywhere. For everyone's situation, it's completely different. You really, really, really need to talk to a tax professional. I cannot stress this enough. If you're asking your mentor um, or your admin for questions about it, then I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this isn't a tax thing that you should do yourself. It's not as easy as, um, you know, just doing your taxes on Tax Act for a 9 to 5 job where you've got, you know, W-2s. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And you want to make sure that you can grab all of your tax write-offs that are available in your area. So make sure you hire a licensed tax professional in your area. Find someone that somebody recommends. That would be my recommendation, not to just like pick someone out of the phone book. Find someone that, you know, some someone you know has used. Um, because you want to get as much money back or as, oh, as little money as you can. Um... And for the year going forward, if you're a new teacher, I know I've told my teachers this before, but if you're a new teacher, I highly recommend to put a portion of your tax or a portion of your paycheck away for tax purposes. Um, you have to pay your own taxes and because it's not taken out. And if you if you're successful, if you're successful, you probably will owe on taxes. So just be prepared for that. Talk to your tax guy. You know, um, this job has taken me out of the earned income credit, so I no longer qualify for the earned income credit. It kind of put me in a different tax bracket. So a lot of things changed when I became successful at this job. I am lucky because I did talk to my tax guy. He told me what to do. I listened to him. He wanted me to put away money. I put away more money than he wanted, you know, buying a house and stuff. Um, so really just make sure that you are using your tax guy, following his advice, and not writing this off until the last minute um, coming into the new year. So uh, I, I would just make sure you do that. Uh, my recommendation as far as putting your money away, <clears throat> my, my recommendation here for this is to take a percentage of your money and put it into a high yield money market account. So put it into a money market account that has a competitive rate. Um, right now, the two that I am aware of that have the highest rates are Marcus by Goldman Sachs and Credit Karma has a new one. And I've debated, Credit Karma is higher than Marcus, but I've debated going there because I've heard that because they're new, some of the people, I was seeing something on Reddit where they were talking about some of the people had had a hard time linking a new account. So like if they initially link their account to like one bank and then they tried to link it to another bank, that other bank wouldn't link or something like that. Like you can only have one account linked and you can't change it or something like that. So I have multiple bank accounts that I transfer from into. So I chose not to go that route. But um, that is one. Credit Karma and Marcus have the two highest rates. I can stand by Marcus. I, um, that's, that's energy drink powder. That's pre-workout powder on my finger, in case you cared. <laughs> it's not like dirt or blood or anything like that. Um, I just saw it in the camera. Sorry. <laughs> but I've been using Marcus for about a year now, and I love them. It's Marcus by Goldman Sachs. It's just Marcus.com. Um, <clears throat> but put it aside a percentage of your income. As soon as you get your check, you don't have, you don't even see it. You get... You transfer it from Payoneer to your bank account, from your bank account to Marcus, and it's gone and you don't touch it until it's time to pay quarterly taxes. Yes, pay quarterly taxes. Do not listen. If this is your first year, now when I was on VIP Kid, they have a tax group full of people that think they know what they're talking about. And a lot of people would be like, oh, 
yes, this is what we're going to do. You don't have to pay taxes quarterly your first year because you can get out of it. Well, the thing is, is you can get out of it, yes, if you pay 100% of what you would have owed for taxes um, before the last quarterly filing date in January of the next year, and your accountant fills out a form. This is in my area, okay? I don't know what it's like in everybody else's area, but my point here is do not listen to people on the internet. Do not listen to people on YouTube, except for me, who is telling you to go to a licensed tax professional because they know it and we don't. So I know we're gonna get a ton of questions here from people that are like asking their mentors, how do I do taxes, how do I do taxes? The most important thing to know is you don't get anything from Palefish and you need to hire someone who, who knows what they're talking about because I can't tell you anything. The other mentors, as fantastic as they are, they are not licensed tax professionals and they are certainly not licensed tax professionals in every single area that people can be doing taxes in. So I highly, 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 highly encourage you to do that as soon as you get a chance, go and find a tax guy or girl and um, get somebody through recommendations, get someone who knows how to do um, independent businesses because this is going to be different than, you know, so if you know someone who is a successful MLMer or who run, runs their own business and has a tax guy that they recommend, I would take their recommendation over, um, like, hey, I did my taxes here at um, <clears throat> at this place, and you know, and I work my nine to five job, where I get taxes taken out. I would really go for someone who has a specialization or does this a lot, where they, you know, they frequently work with people who are in MLMs or, um, you know, VIP Kid or Palefish or. Uh, running your own business, something like that. That that would be my best recommendation. Okay. So uh, I'm really excited for the new year. I hope everyone has a fantastic new year. Um, going into the new year, there's going to be a lot of excitement here and it's just going to be great. I'm super excited. So I will see you guys all next time I make a video. Maybe I'll have my Christmas tree down. Who knows? It may or may not happen. My real one's down. My fake one stays up. I've got so much to do. Like, I'm, my closing date, my closing date is set for January 27th. And I know that can change, but that means that I have, like, less than four weeks to get everything packed and get my butt out of here. So, I'm really excited and I have a lot to do. I'm busy. I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm packing my boxes. I'm moving my stuff. I'm busy. I'm busy. What are you doing? If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe so I can see all your wonderful comments in the comment sections of my videos and answer all of your questions and so that you don't miss any of my content that I give to you as much as I can. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye guys.